Hi guys, it's Amber and it's time for a real life vlog. I had every intention of vlogging a normal vlog today. Like I've been thinking about it all week and I'm like, I'm going to really get back into making vlogs every single day. And then my mom was home from work and um, she was sick. So then that kind of threw me off and I got a late start this morning because I stayed up late last night. I like didn't fall asleep until probably 4 a.m. And then... When I was asleep, I didn't want to wake up this morning. Like my alarm kept going off, and I kept hitting the snooze. And then I was almost late for my online job, which is greeting at a place on Second Life called Greek Gold Lesbian Resort. And I basically I'm a, like the gatekeeper. I make sure that nobody gets in that's not supposed to come in. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And I haven't been on RuneScape. I got on like a few hours the past couple of days. But really, I'm just not that into RuneScape right now. I mean, it, it comes and goes, really. I'm mostly into playing Second Life and also trying to sell junk on Amazon. Um, like, if I can find some card sleeves. I'm going to try selling my Pokemon cards, which I just found. Then, you know, you have Charizard and um, the Japanese Charizard, which those used to be, like, so freaking rare when uh, I was collecting cards, but now I'm sure it's probably nothing new. I'm sure I'm a bit scraggly with my hair since the last time you saw me. Like, I've been having to use a little hair clip to, like, pin my bangs out of my eyes. Like, I've been trying to get my sister to come and cut my hair, but she hasn't yet. Another note is I've been trying to upgrade my desktop PC because my laptop has been giving me a lot of problems here lately. Um, and when I actually was trying to look up how to do stuff, you know, how to uh, change the CPU in, in my desktop, I actually started, you know, poking around in my computer when I didn't really know for sure how to take the heat sink out properly and I ended up pulling the heat sink and the processor was stuck to the bottom of it and I actually freaked out and I tried to like put it back in there really quick and then I ended up bending a bunch of pins on the uh, processor but thankfully I straightened them out enough to where it was actually recognized by the computer because it was just giving me like a an amber yellow type light on, on the uh, CPU. I mean not on the CPU but actually on the computer. And you know that freaked me out. But we are ordering a better processor for it. So yeah, there was actually a dude on Amazon that we tried to buy a processor from. I actually have the processor right here. Um, he ended up shipping it to us for free because, one, he was late with uh, replying to our order. And, um, two, he was like, upon further inspection of this processor, I see that two of the pins on the bottom are missing are broken off and sure enough like when when he first said that I was like it's probably the guide pins because you know like there's these two missing right here I thought that's what he meant and I was like shoot yeah we're getting a free processor but it's actually two down here in this bottom corner that are actually missing so pretty much I have like a little processor paperweight thing and besides, there's like tons of pins in this thing that are, are bent out of... I would be working on this thing for a long time trying to straighten all of the pins out. Because he pretty much he wrapped it in like two pieces of cardboard. He put like two pieces of cardboard on either side right here and he taped around it. And instead of putting it in like a foam package or something, he taped the pieces of cardboard to the um, to the little confirmation letter thing, so you can see like the paper is a bit distressed right there where I pulled the tape off. He just taped it to this and stuck it in a normal envelope and sent it to me. 
So, some people, I guess, they just really don't know how to ship or handle electronics. On the other hand, I did order uh, two gigabytes of RAM for that, and that person did know how to ship it. He sent it in these nice little anti-static bags, uh, wrapped up in bubble wrap, and around the bubble wrap he uh, bent cardboard that was like around it like that. So, that person knew what he was doing. This is the pieces of cardboard that was around this. It was just like stuck in here like this and taped with normal, you know, just plain tape. And I saw it and I was like, well, at least it was free. At least he didn't make me pay for this. And then when I took it out of the package and I was looking at like every other pin is bent out of place. Like if this if this camera could do uh, macro shots, I would show you. But since it doesn't, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Um, update on Dad. He's he's been in and out of ICU a few times because he's been in and out of ICU between ICU and post surgical critical care. And right now he's still in post surgical critical care, and he's been stable for two days. And so we're hoping that he'll st stay stable for like a week. Uh, one of the stents they, they put in uh, actually shifted or it moved. And they're going to have to put it back into place. So uh, that's what's been going on there. And eventually they're going to go in and fix the stent to where it's sitting where it's supposed to be. And hopefully then they'll go in and see if there's still stuff leaking out from around uh, the incision site. There's also a problem with, uh, he has a really bad bed sore. I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard about bed sores before, if anybody who's been bedridden or stuck in a bed for a while. Um, but this bed sore is apparently so bad that they could see bone. Like, they could see his tailbone. That's how bad the bed sore was. And and actually the people in ICU and also in post-critical care were, were actually very concerned about it because it happened when he was in a room upstairs. So, um, that's what's been going on there with Dad. He still can't talk. Uh, they have the tray tube in and they have like this little microphone type thing that is supposed to help him talk, but he can't yet. Um, it's just been one of those, been one of those years. Um, I'm down about five pounds, you probably can't tell, because I, I spent the weekend eating brownies because we just, me and mom wanted brownies, we wanted something sweet to eat. So, I ate like three brownies and now I feel puffy. So, I can't even show you guys that I've been losing weight because right before I film, I freaking blow it. But I'm working hard this this week. This week I'm working hard to uh, stay on track. And I will continue staying on track. Anything else? Gosh, it feels like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. It's probably because I haven't. Um, yeah, just selling stuff on Amazon, working on Second Life, doing anything I can to make some money. I applied for partnership on this channel, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it because my views and everything are so low. Um, I don't know. I just need to be working hard to do something to help support my family. Um, oh, speaking of working hard, uh, Mom found out that her last day is probably going to be sometime in December, towards the end of December. So at least we get to keep our health insurance until then. And mom says that she wants me to get my eyes checked, but I'm more concerned with my teeth because I know, I'm pretty sure I have a cavity in my, my wisdom tooth. Um, and that wisdom tooth has been needed to be pulled since I was a teenager, so it's kind of like we don't have the money to do it, but, you know, I don't know. She wants me to go to the eye doctor, though get my eyes checked, get a new pair of glasses before we lose our insurance. 
what else? What else? Mm, I think that's everything besides all that mica. We're we're still planning the visit for in February. Like we really want to to visit in February because you know that's gonna be our three year anniversary as well as I'll be there for uh, Valentine's. But to be but to be technical, I'll technically be flying to her on our anniversary, and I will arrive there the day after. So, you know, I won't be there for the day itself, but, you know, at least I'll be, you know, going to her that day. And so that's exciting if we can actually get it worked out because, well, it's just Micah feels bad about booking the ticket while my dad's still in the hospital and, and you know, not well. She's scared that something's going to happen and I'm not going to be able to make it and there's no way to cancel the ticket and there's no way to cancel like the reservation for the cabin. And you know, she's just nervous about it and I can completely understand that but my mom said that, you know, it would be up to us if we wanted to do the, the trip that she honestly wouldn't care if we did it. So, I don't know. It, it's just something I have to think about and have to work out so <sighs> I just feel like I know I'm rambling in this video and I'm sorry you guys that you're having to listen to this but I feel like I just have to explain everything that's been going on <sighs> but just to save your ears I'm going to stop rambling now and end the video because I'm sure I'll have to edit a bunch well probably not a bunch I'm just not even going to edit it I'm just going to upload it raw to YouTube so I love you guys, and I will talk to you maybe tomorrow. Bye.